All right, yo, what is up, guys? What is up? It is your boy, Sinja, and we are back for another reaction video. I mean, I would have liked to have done the full live stream, but I missed it, so it is what it is now, so we're reacting to the video now. Uh, little hype, boys. Um, the game has been kind of whatever. They've been putting out a lot of events, so a lot of content right now, and I haven't been playing too much. I've just been doing my dailies, but let's just get straight into the reaction. Um, version 3.0, Sumeru. Um... Excited for some new uh, new content, new characters, and uh, just whole the new land. So. Is known as the God of wisdom, Holy shit, that's loud. Consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, right, that looks kind of that looks kind of like Inazuma. Not a lot. Um, he disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. The sages later found put, a newly. I'm putting subtitles on. I'm putting it back on. Oh my god. Quite big. Oh. Alright, new character. Okay. Festival? Or oh, Windbloom Festival? Or oh, Grass Textures? Okay! Alright, the trees are looking pretty nice. And the music's kind of saving. Like, the music kind of reminded me of like a lot of music, so. Kind of hype. Day. Looking like a little, uh, little Disney area. Okay. Alright, Kale. So I think she's gonna be free, if I'm right. She's gonna be free, um, free character, like Amber. She's kinda like follows in Amber's footsteps, so. The withering. So what's his name? Deirdre? Deirdre, one of the... Oh, there's Tiganari. Nice. Is that how to pronounce his name? I don't know. He honestly looks really sick. Kind of like has designs similar to Zhao. Um, but his gameplay looks okay to me. Like, so... It's a tool produced by the... Okay, so a new tool. Nice. New gameplay mechanics. Okay, so a knowledge base. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Okay, so that's where and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Okay, so that's where the Fatui are gonna come in. And they're gonna be trying to get that. Oh Dory, she looks sick, honestly. I wish she wasn't Electro. Uh, I don't know what element she'd be, but she seems honestly sick. Little, literal Aladdin vibes now, but um, I'm excited to grind out some Dendro, Dendro, sorry, artifacts. Ooh, some interesting looking monsters. Some uh, monsters we've already seen, so. We're gonna watch the trailer back, just cause a lot's going on right now. I'm trying to commentate, but. I'm just gonna watch mainly through this one. I'll talk through the next one. Ooh, river. This device, it's extracting energy from the ley line. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some interesting technology. Hey, he looks sick. He honestly looks sick. Uh, so it looks like he's like um, synchronized with the monster or something. Ooh, that's a little petal rose crown. She's just dancing while people are disappearing. Okay, that was the, the Dendro Archon. She just fucking disappeared, Jesus Christ. That was kind of scary, honestly. Oh shit. All of Simmer is disappearing. Honestly, this looks really hype. Like, this looks like Inazuma's, like, sort of climax of, like, the whole fight and stuff. So, and it looks like a little bit more... Like higher stakes and everything because much more people are involved, you know? It's not just army against army, but 
All right, let's see. Grave and Innocence. Okay, so another... What is this? Oh, God. More camera stuff. <laughs> These damn camera events. I don't know. I don't think we needed another flower, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of over the similar bosses. I kind of want some unique ones now. This was a good opportunity with the new area to sort of bloom out some new monsters, some new bosses, instead of rehashing the old ones into different elements. Um, like, even these monsters, like the Ruin Guards, right? Like, it's interesting seeing, like, a prehistoric Ruin Guard, like, one that looks like a fucking pterodactyl, but honestly, like, I'm kind of over it. I'd rather see, like, more monsters to the region, right? Like, monsters specific to the regions. Like, see, we're getting more slimes, more thing. Like, I know this is more of an event, so it's trying to include, like, all monsters and stuff, rather than all the Sumeru monsters, but... Well, child action, Tartaglia, my guy. Hopefully he'll be in the arc, but I doubt it. I think it's uh, Deirdre or whatever his name is that's coming to fucking burn the whole forest down. Um, some interesting music. I like it. But it just doesn't seem like it fits almost. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it matches at all. Um, oh, okay. What's going on? Oh, just disappeared. Jesus. Like, whatchamacallit. Pokemon Snap. Alright, this is one I'm interested in. Hold on. So we got Dendro Damage Bonus, 15%. After elemental skills or bursts hit opponents, the target's Dendro res will be decreased by 30%. Okay, so some Dendro love, that makes sense. Um, this effect can be triggered even if the equipping character is not on the field. Okay, so off-field damage, nice. Um, Gilded Dreams, Elemental Mastery, 80. So this was the one that's... Uh, Seeming to be nice for Kazuha. Here, I'll move my camera. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. So, Elemental Mastery plus 80. Uh, within 8 seconds of triggering uh, Elemental Reaction, the character equipping this will obtain buffs based on the Elemental type. Of the other party members, uh, attacks increase by 40% for each party member whose Elemental type is the same as the equipping character. And Elemental Mastery is increased by 50 for every party member with a different Elemental type. Each of the affirmation buffs will count up to three characters. This effect can be triggered once every eight seconds. The character eclipses can still trigger the effect when not on field. So, I mean, this does seem like an interesting artifact to play around with, with guys like, um, like Kazuha and, uh, uh, shit, I'm forgetting his name. Haizo. Uh, Haizo. So it'll be interesting to play around with them, see, see how those sort of work together. Uh, the Dendro ones will obviously be very specific to the Dendro characters. So those are obviously going to be the ones that you grind up if you're getting... Uh, uh, if the, I forget their names, but... <laughs> Kale! <laughs> uh, the other, Tigganari. Tigganari? Yeah, him. Um, ooh, that was a very nice looking bow. Come on! New craftable weapons, love to see it. Hey, yeah, these look very well designed, too. Honestly, I, I don't... Like, if they can design weapons, new Forge weapons for the region, I don't know why they can't just give new Battle Pass weapons. It, it's just kind of cringe at this point that they still haven't changed the Battle Pass weapons. Like, honestly, that's one thing Genshin does very poorly. It's 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 going back and updating old stuff. So the Battle Pass is so outdated and just needs updating. Um, all right. So, I haven't watched the promotional video either, but I just want to make this video specific to the trailer because I kind of want to, you know, diagnose what's happened so far. I'm going to put the volume a little lower now. Um, so let's just take a look. Okay. Okay, so she disappeared. So when we saw her, that was just, like, could just be an after image or past memory or something. We don't know. But... Oh, never mind. I totally lied. Grass texture is looking nice, honestly. Like, for real.
I really like the stuff up in the tree. It's gonna be annoying as hell to climb though. It's like, come on. It's gonna be kind of annoying to climb that. I mean, it's a little circular, so it helps that you can like kind of jump up, but if there's any edges or anything, oof. Oof. <laughs> this kind of looks like from uh, the Disney movie. Uh, is it Disney? Yeah, I think it's Disney. Like when she's up in the t Tangled. Kind of looks like the Tangled area, but it, it kind of gives me like Disney vibes. Like, you know, see this in Kingdom Hearts or something. But very, very cool. Very cool. I, I like the change, honestly. Um, like Inazuma was a bit more darker here. It looks a little bit more brighter, brighter in some areas, but there are also some darker areas, right? So let's say Kole. So she's uh, using the new craftable weapon. That's dope. Um, oh, she throws her bow. That's pretty cool. Little boomerang. Okay, so that's kind of like Amber's thing, but that could be her alt. So that's going to be the Dendro application. So Dendro is going to work mainly on um, applying off field and synergizing with different elemental reactions. That's going to be the main damage. So, like the dam, you won't see the damage mainly. It's kind of going to be like Animo, probably. Like swirls are going to be going on in the background. It'll be similar. Tiganari. I wish they'd pronounce his name so I know how to pronounce it. Bearden Strider, Tiganari. Um, yeah, I mean, his design is absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I really don't know what the complaints are. Um, I love the gloves. I love the fit, the color, the color palette. Just very well designed. It almost looks like, very like, very specific in detail, which, you know, I, 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 I like the little details, you know, that it captures. I like how certain characters have that sort of flair. Um, this is the Akasha Terminal thing, okay. So this is gonna be what thing the Fatui come from, because I'm guessing it's somehow associated with the Gnosis. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably the Gnosis is in there or something. All right, so this is similar, like when you find like, uh, uh, when you went to the Inazuma and stuff, you're just trying to meet some people, right? To get into the region and get more associated with the region, have the character more involved, the MC more involved uh, in the events that occur. Now that monster looks sick. Uh, I don't know if that's boss worthy, honestly. It kind of looks like the, uh, it kind of looks like the, whatchamacall, Oh my god, I'm just forgetting everything. Every name. Everything. Um, those big dudes. Um, the Abyss. Abyss Heralds. The Abyss Heralds. It should be like a monster like the Abyss Herald. I don't think it looks like a boss, but maybe it's not a boss. Who knows? I just thought of the boss because I put it beside the Electro Plant. She looks like she's going to be very involved in the story. Very nice area. Very gorgeous. Like I feel like they could have they could have not rehashed and just made some more intricate monsters in the zone, but maybe we'll see. Maybe we just haven't seen any everything yet. This looks sick. It gives me a little Honkai vibe. I appreciate it though. And this guy, this guy does look like he's from Honkai. You know, um, he has that sort of effect, and you know, you can see his uh, thing over there being Dendro. So he is going to be Dendro. I don't know if that was put out or not on Genshin, but... This was funny. Whoa. <laughs> that guy looks like a priest or something. That looks pretty cool. Some underground stuff. Some hidden hidden secrets there as the Abyss Herald. What the frig is that? Are they covering up what that is? Looks like a moon. Like a purple moon blasting. The MC, but that's definitely covering up something. Like, I don't know if that's actually what's firing at us, or it's just an actual character and they're just putting something in front of it, so we don't know who it is yet. We don't know who we're going to be having a main battle with. So, there's the Dendro Archon, there's what looks like freaking uh, Osidon or whatever his name is, the Water Serpent. 
Everything starts disappearing. Very cool. The music, always on point for Genshin. Like, the music, Genshin. All the, all the, all the music directors, all the, um, you know, the conductors, all the, all the sounds, um, the music producers, music directors, uh, the people who are in charge of, you know, getting those sounds right, getting them in the game, um, the people who, you know, actually do all the music. Absolutely amazing. This sounds sounds amazing, and the and the the looks are gorgeous as well. Like that's the main catch of Genshin, you know. They did a good job of uh, of um, rendering it down to make it uh, so beautiful for a mobile game, and also have so much packed in it, right? Um, so yeah, the Morn, uh, the Morn a thousand, the Morn a thousand, roses brings. I see. The more than a thousand roses brings. Got to say that quick. All right. So we've seen these things. So these are going to be some new events that they sort of go through. Um, we got the new boss. So it, it is looking like that thing's going to be a boss. It looks kind of small. I wish it was a little bigger. But maybe maybe it was just the camera angle that makes it look small. It, it honestly could be bigger than what I think it is. But looks like we get a crown there. So don't be holding your crowns. Just start using them. We get a free uh, Kole. Um, so that's nice. You know, new character. New vibes, gonna try out the Dendra application, it's gonna be interesting. Get more stuff, more primos, always nice to see it. Lost riches, nice, nice, nice. Some trials, so this seems a little interesting. It, it almost seems like a battle, but then it also seems like you're taking a photo, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Leyline Overflow, cool. Artifacts. We kind of went through, looked dope, honestly, and uh, very excited to grind them out, so. I think that is it. The new weapons, the new bows. So that bow, the 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 four star will probably be the free bow. Um, very interesting looking, kind of like the uh, the uh, tuna fish uh, uh, big claymore. That's why I kind of. So maybe it might be the same set. Might have a similar ability, right? And the hunter's path looks like it's going to be a a specific ability to uh, the new the new characters. So that is it for uh, this video, this reaction. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Really greatly appreciate it. Um, more content on the way, maybe. Um, some Genshin stuff, some Overwatch stuff. I don't know. Whatever is in the mix, honestly. Take care. Peace.